the Joe Rogan experience. I don't know. You have those coaches that are like, okay, guys, breathe. I don't want right. my coach telling me to breathe in the corner. No? <laughs> I'm like, I know how to breathe, bro. <laughs> Tell me what I need to hear. <laughs> right. Well, does that drive you crazy when you hear corners that don't give good advice? Like, uh, go out yeah. and finish them. Yeah. What, what does like, that oh, mean? Thanks. Get up, man. Get oh. up. I'm no shit. Go yeah. out there and kick his ass. Yeah. Oh. That's why I, I was lucky go to have ass. you know guys that paid attention to detail like Mark and Ricardo, man. Yes. Those guys are... Uh, Top notch. Technical. Yeah, technical. Yeah. They're not yeah. giving you that. You know, sometimes you do. You need to, like, sometimes some guys, I think Mark got some flack for the Marlon fight where he was in the corner. He was like, your mother raised you, blah, 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 blah. You know, mm. and someone's like, why is he talking about his mom? It's like, because he knew he didn't need yeah. technique. He needed some right. motivation at that point. Was Marlon too big? Did he lose too much weight to get down to 35? And was he depleted? Or was it Cejudo just steamrolled him? <sighs> I just think the moment. You know, I think moment. Marlon hit him with some good shots, and mm -hmm. he hit him with some good shots. Some head kick, the right hand. Yeah. And I think the fact that Cejudo just took it and kept coming forward, I think kind of um, just demoralized Marlon a little bit. Like, in he thought he was going to put him away. In my eyes, Cejudo was not going to be able to take much more to the legs. I was, yeah, no way. I thought, I, I for sure, in that first round, I'm like, this fight's not going the distance. Yeah. I thought Marlon was going to keep chopping at the legs, but Marlon let Cejudo close the distance. And once he let Cejudo close the distance and get a hold of him, started hitting him with knees, and I was like, oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, you know? yeah. Cejudo's And even, like, I mean, Marlon it was in that tie clinch, too. And mm -hmm. I'm like, dude, Marlon knows how to deal with a tie clinch. Yeah. And he just wasn't even reacting to it. He was, like, kind of letting him hit him with the knees, I felt like. Almost. It's like I, f I felt like he was just depleted. It, se it seemed like he didn't have the energy to fight the kind of fight that Cejudo was willing to fight. Right. Especially Cejudo at 35, right? Cejudo at 25, he's draining himself a little yeah. bit. But Suhudo at 35 was much healthier. Yeah. And this fucking guy's just tough as shit, man. He has a winner's mind. Finds a way. Found he's a, a way. Win he's got yeah. a winner's mind. Yeah. You know, and his uh, the videos that he makes are pretty ridiculous. <sighs> Super ridiculous. Triple C. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bend the knee. I mean, I guess that's, you know, everyone's got to have a stick now, you know? I guess they do because it keeps him out there. It's, it's just, it's weird because this sport is part of that, right? It's like part, there's, it's part promotion but it's also performance it's like guys like connor are the perfect blend yeah like he's just just be him himself but connor's like it's entertaining it's funny yeah. some of these other guys man it's just rough. so forced and it's rough but look yeah. like colby covington colby covington ta shit talked his way to a goddamn title shot yeah he really did and i mean then yes fought and no. his ass off. but he's also very good very good I mean, you can't not be but good the ufc talk was yourself willing to they wanted to cut him before he fought in Brazil. Do you know that? Yeah, I heard that. That was the story, last yeah. fight on his contract. He's going over there to fight Damian Maya and he just talked mad shit. He and said, I'm kept, gonna, him, kept him on board. Kept him. He's like, yeah. yeah. That was what that's what did it. I mean, that's literally what did it. And then that character just took off. If you go and look at the early versions of that character, he had nice suits. Like he had a, like a real crisp suit like connor would wear yeah. but then later he's got these yeah, jc penny suits <laughs> cheap suits it's like it's part of the fun of it yeah is he's wearing bullshit suits he's and a mag playing hat. to a character yeah. fuck man he he fucking figured it out well how about connor he's kind of made a little 180 type flip on his personality he's still funny he's still you know mouthy and stuff but he's not being he seems like he's trying to clean his image up a little bit you think with cowboy you think that's it maybe it was cowboy cowboy's kind of easy to get along with and, and whatnot or maybe My it's just that he's been dealing with so much you know with the Khabib just, fight well, and all Khabib that stuff and, and you know yeah. the, hitting the old guy and the <laughs> yeah. shit that he's dealing Lawsuits. with over there you yeah. know he's like you know he's got a that proper 12 he's got a total line a little bit <laughs> yes right i mean you got to think proper 12 is an enormous amount of money for him i mean he's he's making shit tons of money i was in vegas that fucking those billboards were everywhere yeah on cars and shit i was he was he was Sponsoring the Bellator cage too. Was he? Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Good for him. I uh, yeah. I wonder, but I also think I don't think he felt like he needs psychological warfare with with Cowboy. I feel like he thought from the beginning that he had a giant advantage over Cowboy. Yeah. You know, like if you go back to an old pref, press conference or talking back and shit to each other, he's like as stiff as a board. Right. Right. Oh, yeah. I'll yeah. Fucking break in half. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think yeah, he just felt like this fight, look, I could just be a nice guy with this guy. Right. But with Khabib, I think he felt like he had to fuck with him. He, I felt like he f felt that he had to get Khabib emotional the same way he got Aldo emotional. But that shit didn't, didn't work. work. That motherfucker's mm -hmm. a, he's a vault. You look in his eyes, you just see nothing but doom. Yeah, no, nah, he's, 